An old and time-tested quantum physics experiment shows us how our material world is created. This experiment is so famous, in fact, that Nobel Prize winning physicist Richard Feynman called it the only thing you need to know about quantum physics. I'm referring to the double slit experiment, which explains much of the science of the law of attraction in precise and vivid detail. The double slit experiment continues to challenge quantum physicists today. You'll soon see why it holds such mystery and beauty for them and also why it teaches you everything you need to know about the very real science of creating reality. Here is the double slit experiment in a nutshell. A physicist places a particle cannon in a stimulus-free chamber that is aimed at a wall with two slits in it. The particle cannon fires particles, electrons. Behind the first wall is a second wall, on which is recorded the electron's final landing spots after they pass through the two slits. The cannon fires electrons at the first wall like a machine gun, shooting electrons in a rapid streak. If a machine gun were fired at a wall with two slits, you would expect that the bullets would produce a pattern of bullet holes on the second wall corresponding to the diameters of the two slits on the first wall. In other words, it's logical to assume that the two bullets would form an outline of the two slits on the second wall. You would be correct, from a classical physics perspective, to expect the exact same results from the electron cannon as you would the machine gun. But, it isn't, but that is not what happens in the double slit experiment. The electrons do not form an outline of the two slits on the second wall. Instead, the electrons form wave patterns, making impressions all over the second wall. Classical physics would cause you to expect some of the electrons in the double slit experiment to hit the first wall and not make it through the slits. But since most of the electrons do make it through one of the two slits and land on the second wall, they should form two roughly rectangular patterns a slightly larger outline of each slit, but they don't. The electrons form waves on the second wall. It's as if the electrons change from particles into waves after they pass through the two slits in the first wall. How do they do that? You'll find that answer to this question solves the mystery of creating reality. How could the electrons shot out of a particle can in a stimulus-free environment land all across the second wall in wave patterns. To answer this question, physicists arrange a photon emitter to fire one photon at each electron as it travels out of the particle cannon toward the two slits. The interaction between the photon and the electron changes the results to what classical physics would lead you to expect. When an electron collides with a photon before passing through the two slits, the electron hits the second wall in the logical pattern you thought you'd see the first time. The electrons behave as you expect, forming two roughly rectangular patterns, a slightly larger outline of each slit. Here is why the double slit experiment dispels the mystery behind the science of creating reality. The experiment shows us that electrons exist as both a wave and a particle simultaneously until they are observed. Until they are observed, electrons are neither wave nor particle. They merely represent the potential to be Prior to observation, the electrons are neither a wave nor a particle. They are literally both. When the electron struck or interacted with the photon, the photon was observed and thus took the form it was expected to take. Electrons, the building blocks of all matter, have no pre-existing state of being. Electrons don't exist as a wave or a particle and they're not being observed. When electrons aren't being observed, they exist in a state of pure potential to be either one. 
your observation manifests the electron. You literally create reality. And this experiment has been done over and over, always with the same results. Electrons are the basic building blocks of all matter. The stuff that forms every material object in our universe has no pre-existing state. Matter is not manifested in what is observed. As strange as this sounds, you cannot say that electrons are particles that sometimes become waves, nor vice versa. Electrons are everything and nothing, wave and particle, at the same time, until you or something else observes them and or interacts with them. We've all heard the old metaphysical question, a tree falls in the forest and no one is there to make a sound? The double slit experiment shows us that if no one is there, there is no forest. And the double slit experiment goes into the It shows us that it's not just the observation that manifests the electron, it's the expectation the observer holds. Through your observation, and more importantly, your expectations, you are creating the form matter takes. You are creating your reality every day through your observation of it. It's how the universe operates. And you couldn't stop it if you tried. If you're interested in the law of attraction, you probably intuitively know that your expectations create your reality. Now, you have scientific.